everyone. It's Chelsea from Paper Rock TO Studio. Welcome to September 2019. This is my vlog as well as my calendar art. As you guys probably know by now, since January, I've been um, decorating this, this free calendar that I got, which is also a planner. And it's, I mean, it's kind of a planner. It's, it's, very cheap, inexpensive, nasty paper, <laughs> and it has these things on it, and I want to cover them up with something bright and colorful. This this calendar sits on my desk um, at my computer, and this is how I keep track of all my videos, when they're scheduled, when I have responsibilities for things. Um, I mark everything on it. It's, it's already partially marked up, but um, this is for September. Recently, I did a video where I was showing ways to do linear designs on your gel plate. And one of the things that I did was to use tape on my gel plate to um, make designs, make linear designs. And I used three different types of tape. I used cellophane tape, I used packaging tape, and I used masking tape. And these pieces are what's left of that tape. It gets painty when you do this. And I didn't overuse it, so it's not completely crazy. It's mostly just the colors of the first, second, maybe third time around. I wanted to use it up because I don't like to waste things. It's pretty. It's got paint on it. And so I decided to use these little bits of tape and some matte medium to cover the parts of the calendar that I want to cover, leaving the squares open for me to write in. So that's what I did. And um, there's like kind of like four different ways, four different color ways. There's this blue one, there's a kind of teal and green one, and then there's a brighter green one, which is the masking tape, and then there was another packing tape that had browns and greens. And so I just mixed them all up. This is going to end up being an abstract design more than a um, something that you see September images because about the only September image that I have in my head is the prickly pears that um, their fruit comes out and ripens in September. The light, in, you know, changes a little bit. It's more fall-like, but we don't have falling leaves or, um, you know, anything like that. Apples, pumpkins, I mean, somewhere around here there is that type of stuff, but in general, I live in the desert and it just stays about the same. It's still hot. So, I decided to just go with an abstract look rather than doing something that's fall-like, even though it is the beginning of fall. So that's what I'm doing. Um, let me start telling you what's going to come up in the month of September. There is a gel printing every day challenge from Bridget Coopson. It's called 30 Days of Gel Printing. And I did her challenge last time she had it. It was really fun. Uh, it's a lot of videos because I was doing like three or four techniques in each, you know, each, each, prompt, each video had three or four of the prompts. And I'm going to try to do her challenge again, but I probably will not be doing every single prompt. If there's something that seems repetitive or obvious to me, I will just skip it. I also have some other ideas of um, gel printing, just random stuff that comes to my head. So there will definitely be a lot of gel printing in this month. I know there are people who love to watch it. So um, that will be fun. Okay, so what else am I doing in the month? Other things that I am responsible for. Of course, today on the first, the Pick a Stick Challenge randomly draw one word prompts were drawn and shown. They're on my channel this month because I drew them. Um, as far as the challenges, on the 6th, which is the first Friday, Peg and I will have our art journal pages done with the prompts on our channels. And then sometime during the month, I'll also have the Altered Tag Challenge and the Artist Trading Card Challenge from that group on Facebook called Pick a Stick Challenge. Uh, the other group that we have is Art Joy of Sharing and I will have um, the Mood Board Challenge coming out this month and also of course every Thursday at 10.30 Central, 8.30 Pacific Time we have a live show and that's on Art Joy of Sharing live stream channel and it's just, it's live. So you can come over there and watch at that time live, or you can watch watch the live streams recorded later. Um, what else from Aid Art Joy of Sharing? I think that's everything from them. Oh, uh, we'll all have shout outs. This month, 
all the contrib contributing video makers are doing shout outs to smaller channels. So that's what I'll have sometime in the month on my channel to talk about, you know, to help smaller art channels because art joy sharing is all about supporting others and their artistic endeavors. So that's what we do. We support other people. And one of the things is to just talk about smaller channels that you might not have heard of. And um, so that will be sometime in the month. Uh, on the third is Stencil Girls. Uh, you know, I'm on their design team with Peg. And this month it was Dress It or Wear It. We dressed it. So you'll see that coming out on their um their blog, as well as on my channel and Peg's channel, our videos will be coming out on the 3rd. Um, there is, let's see, there's a harvest moon coming on the 14th. Harvest moon is the full moon for this month. So there'll be full moon art. Also, um, I usually do an animal portrait, which I forgot to do last month. So I'll have two animal portraits in this month. Uh, I got to make up one at the beginning of the month, and then I'll do the other one at the end of the month. Um, let's see. I, I'm in some hops. Uh, there's a color hop uh, dealing with how you pick your colors, how you do colors, and that's coming out. That's that's with the people from the Creative Arts Collaboration Group, and that will be on the 14th as well. Um, let's see. What else? I'm saying I'm um a lot. Uh, yeah, the Stencil Girl, I forgot. There's also a blog hop this month, and it's called Gift Worthy. So we will be making something using Stencil Girl stencils as a gift. Something as a gift. Not sure what I'm making yet, but that's a blog hop. But of course, I'll also have a video because I do videos, not, not blog. So, I mean, I have a blog, but I, that's not my primary sharing resource. So there'll be a video. Um, also, another uh, collaboration hop, of course, is the digital backgrounds that I'm doing with three other people and that is usually at the beginning of each season so this month is the beginning of fall or autumn but it will be on the 20th so you'll be seeing that that's a collaboration with three other artists and we do we share digital backgrounds that we've created and then um, we do something with them so that'll be coming up this month so back to what I'm doing on the screen I'm now stenciling uh, this this month August, the club stencils were a collab between Carolyn Duby and Mary Beth Shaw, and they, they made them so that you could cut them apart. You didn't have to keep the big stencil as a big stencil. So you end up with kind of two, there's sort of four by six ish, and then all these little border ones. So I wanted to use them to make this more interesting. So I got them and cut them apart. And now I'm just stenciling with some acrylic paint over the top of all my uh, grid-like background, which is done with the tape. So that's all I'm doing there. Nothing, nothing amazing there. <laughs> just some stenciling. Stencil girl stencils. Let's see. What else do I have written down on this crazy bunch of notes? Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm still on the design team for Gina B. Aaron's designs and this month we have a really really interesting kind of a kind of a weird trade congratulate collaboration going on with another design team member and it's called rescue my art and my partner is Mar margel from uh, shelly studios and i sent her a piece of unfinished whatever ugly whatever art that I didn't like and she sent me one and then we finish each other's art. So, you know, it's kind of like exchanging something that you don't like and getting some inspiration from someone else. So that's pretty interesting and that'll be coming out on my channel on the 17th. I'm not sure when her hers is, but mine will be on the 17th. And, oh, what else? Just looking at my notes. Oh, I also at some point in the month will have, um, I, I got some more stencils from, or I'm getting, I haven't got them yet, some more die cuts, not stencils, die cuts. Wow, am I just losing it today. Die dies that you make die cuts with from inloveartshop.com. Um, what I did with the house die and what I did with the 
the die that makes a little heart-shaped book seem to be really popular. So they asked me to do another video. So they're sending me some more stuff. Um, and that will be sometime in the month. I don't know. I don't know when it is because I don't know when the stuff's getting here. But I, th I think that I've covered everything I wanted to say about what's coming up in September. Sounds like it's a ridiculously busy month again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, of course, I want to say thank yous. I always want to say thank you. I'm so grateful when people send me things or donate, donate to my channel. Of course, down below the video, there is a little button you can click on and you can, it goes to PayPal and you can either donate with your credit card or with your PayPal balance, whatever you want to do. And that's really helpful to me because it helps me get more new stuff that I can share on the channel. And, um, just just supports me, makes me, you know, I, I get so many nice, kind comments and supportive support from the community. But still, when I get a little bit of a donation, it always makes me feel like I did something valuable. I don't know why. Why do we place so much so much emphasis on money? Because I'm not really doing it for money or else I'd be doing something else. This is really something that I do for the love of art and sharing. But um, yeah, just getting that donation is pretty awesome. I also love to get happy mail and I got some, some great happy mail. So I just want to do my thank yous here really quick. Thank you so much to Mosaics and Linda, Arlene and Lori. That's for donations to the channel and happy mail. So yeah, thank you so much. That picture was from unsplash.com, which is a site that you can use their pictures, uh, without any copyright issues and that is really what it looks like where I live in the fall with the very purpley red prickly pear fruit um, on the on the cactus on the purple, prickly pear cactus it's, it's really quite beautiful so to finish up this page I um, I had some stickers that were, were given to me by Remy in uh, a while ago in happy mail and I used some of them. They have some encouraging words on them around the page in, you know, within the grid like areas of the page. And then I had these, um, are those called parentheses? I want to say those things are called parentheses, but I hope I'm not wrong. They're not quotation marks. No, they're parentheses. Um, and then some some letter stickers that are col cover, uh, colored copper. I also had put some copper paint through stencils on here. You know I love copper, and that's a great color for fall. So um, copper stickers that say September, and then other stickers around that say encouraging things. Then uh, to finally do the final finishing, I did some pen work. Um, not super precise, pretty sloppy. This pen is a chalk marker and it's dark brown, which was the right color. I didn't want to use black because I had the browns and other greens and stuff in here. I just didn't think black would be the right color. I wish this pen had a finer tip because it's got a medium bullet tip, but it works. And I drew around some of the shapes. I drew around um, the stickers and just added some more pattern and line with my own hand, which makes something more personal to you. And then to finish up after that, I added white with my white Posca pen because you can never go wrong with a white Posca pen. I mean, I think it's my most used item in my <laughs> ever in my arsenal. I use it all the time on almost every single Thing. So if you don't have a white Posca pen yet, go over to my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description box below, and pick up a three pack because you will love them. And they are there. The link is there in my Amazon store for you to find the ones that I buy. They don't come in two days like Amazon Prime normally does because they're coming from China, but they are, or maybe Taiwan, I'm not sure, <laughs> but they are a very good value three pins for like six or seven dollars so to make the the stickers that say september stand out more i did trace around them with white they really were blending in way too much and i couldn't couldn't see them so yeah that's it for my vlog and calendar art for september i hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up 
you can leave me a comment or question below. Uh, you can, of course, ask to join Art Joy of Sharing, ask to join Pick a Stick Challenge. I will put those links. You can also use my Amazon storefront link anytime you want to buy something from Amazon. And I get a few cents when you do that, which helps me with my channel. So, so that's enough of that, I think. <laughs> and that's enough of this video as well. Uh, Close-ups are coming up. Thanks. Bye-bye.